Thank you for joining us for yet another unboxing video. And today we have Antonio Ferrara's Boogeyman, the board game released by Escape Studios, the terrifying survival horror game. I backed this on Kickstarter. Uh, it took a while to get here, but at the same time, I'm very happy with the results of uh, investing in this uh, board game. So uh, let's continue to take a look at this right off the bat. It tells us right here. The game is for ages 13 plus for one to six player, which means that it can be played as a solo. And it takes around 60 minutes to complete uh, one part of the adventure. So let's flip this around. Okay, let's take a look at it. Love the artwork. Boogeyman the board game, again. Contents of the box. Some cool figures. Welcome to the world of Boogeyman. In Boogeyman, you will play intrepid kids struggling with the classic nightmare, the Boogeyman. Nobody knows who he is or what he wants, but he certainly loves children, even if they do not intend to be part of his dinner. No one knows his real face, but it is said that he is scary beyond your wildest imagination. And as if that were not enough, the kids will have to try to escape from the clutches of Jennifer their psychopathic babysitter. What will happen? Will they be able to survive the long night? Will they manage to not get caught by the babysitter and overcome their fears? Or will the boogeyman get the better of all of them? Pizza, an investigation. Again, page 13 plus. Again, brought to you by Escape Studios. More questions? Go to escapestudios.net info at escapestudios.net and this was released in 2021. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. It's a heavy box with lots of goodness inside. And this is the Kickstarter version of this game. Lots and lots of stuff. So let's put this to the side for a minute and let's take a look what we got here. So right off the bat, we're pre, this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is the introduction, the book of endings prologue. So I don't want to tell you too much about this, but it's, uh, yeah, you know, graphic novel comment, uh, content tells you information about this. But what led up to here, what's going on here, and all this good stuff. Again, artwork is very cool, very modern, nice, uh, pretty thick paper. So again, that's your Book of Endings prologue. You also get a cool poster. Will you be able to survive the long night? Boogeyman, the board game. So it's like a movie style poster. Which is very cool. So there it is, that's that. So that's the poster that's included. That's kind of cool. Put that at the top there like that. Then, the terrifying book of rules. Terrifying book of rules, the story so far. In Boogeyman, you will play intrepid children struggling with the worst nightmare of all time, the Boogeyman. All right, there's your game components yet again on there. The object of the game, in order to survive, the children will have to work together to locate certain key items hidden around the house so they can trigger the finale and then live through it. The boogeyman and the psycho babysitter will do everything in their power to stop them. Keep your eyes peeled because when things get tough, not everyone is likely to survive. So you got game modes. You got solo, cooperative, semi-cooperative, and competitive mode. The boogeyman. The 
this is for your setup, how to set up the game. Everything is explained. And the cards that go with each of the children that you choose to play. Play of the game, phases of a round. First player, the holder of the flashlight token, goes first, starting with the first player and proceeding clockwise. Each player carries out their actions. After every child has taken their turn, the boogeyman plays. Final phase. Once all three objective tokens are in the finale room and the leader starts the finale, they will move on to play in the book of endings, but not before completing the task dictated by the mission card. All right, so you got the different modes again. Competitive mode, good advice, advice for hard mode, for frightening mode. Here's your cast of characters. You got Peter, Daphne, Ray, Lila, Mike, and Tommy. Characters, the children, children's state of mind, calm, scared, terrified. Careful, a passed out child generates nightmares, which can be a problem for the other children. It is important to revive them as soon as possible. Nightmares. Children's actions. How to move. Some more advice. Removing locks. An action. Going through trap doors. Reviving a child. Free actions. Play search cards, use candy tokens, how to manage the die result. Swap stuff. Skeleton key. Interactions with the boogeyman and babysitter. Jennifer the babysitter, there she is. Interactions with the babysitter. When affected by a card, when removing a lock, when under influence of a boogeyman. Important things. The boogeyman himself. When he shows up, the boogeyman's turn, what he's got to do. Good advice, drawing event cards. When the boogeyman is controlled by the game. How to move the boogeyman. The tracker. Interacting with the boogeyman, more important rules. When the boogeyman is controlled by a player, revealing the boogeyman, different more examples. The tracker on top. Moving the boogeyman, interacting with the boogeyman, playing event cards, fusion system, playing trouble cards, playing nightmare cards. Boogeyman when he's run by the game, and Boogeyman when he's run by a player. Semi-cooperative mode and the Boogeyman. The stress scale. Drawing troubled cards. The mission, the grand finale. Different things. How does it work? Well, here are, here's a round. Start the fireplace. Any doubts? The cards, what do the cards mean? Light card, dark card, search card. Boogeyman cards. Babysitter card. Nightmare card. Trouble cards. Vent card. Objective card. Mission cards. Different tokens, search tokens, noise tokens, objective tokens. Trap door token, skeleton key, mission, locks, light and dark tokens, room tokens, candy tokens, stress scale, boogeyman and babysitter tokens, the house. The game board has 25 numbered zones, which we call rooms, and five unnumbered corridors. Secret room 20, the attic room 5. 
Now, we already did a review for Tales of Evil, but Boogeyman meets Tales of Evil. Boogeyman is a Tales of Evil crossover. Ten event cards. So if you have the Tales of Evil game, you can play this game along with it. Because they're part of the pizza investigation as well. And more credits for people who backed the Kickstarter. I don't think my name's in there, but it might be somewhere in there. I jumped on pretty late, so not sure. And this is Tales of Evil. So these, I'm not going to read any of these. These will ruin the endings for those games. Again, you would use these for uh, only, you don't use those for the Boogeyman game. You use those only for Tales of Evil. So, so this is would be the Tales of Evil, the mystery of the demon puppet mistress. That's an expansion. You would use all these rules for that game there. All right, so there's your rule book for Boogeyman. So I'll put that over here with this too, along with our prologue book. Punch outs. We've got a, we got some of them in here. All right, so let's take a look. We got, so we got the kids. We got locks, flashlight, whistle, the different kids, doors. Pop out cleanly, well done. And it popped back in. Nice thick cardboard. Really well done. Oh, just popped the lock out. So, as you can tell, unlocked. I believe that's a little locked. Nope, both are on the same side. So, there you go. And there are your 25 rooms. All right, they got it. So, that's cool. And you got your boogeyman over here. And you got your babysitter. And your six kids. That's that. Your search tokens, your night and daytime, babysitter, boogeyman, and your candies. Okay. I'll say lights are on, dice, sound tokens, different items, and there's your candy again. Okay, there your punch up. So there's your darkness and your bright light. That'll all be indicated in the game when you use those. The game board. I can try to show it to you as best I can. There's room 13. Really, really beautiful artwork. Really well done. Really takes on the theme of the uh, mystery, you know, house that you have to investigate in through different rooms, the hallways, staircases. There's a mystery in the house that we have to survive, and here's the house itself. The walkway up, 16, room 10, 17, the garage, the fear tracker, the outside, the 24, 25. I don't want to rip the board. That's one thing I don't want to do. So I can turn it around here a little bit so you can see a little better. So we got here. Room 12. Room 6. That's the boogeyman tracker on the top. Here's room three. Room four. The bathroom there. Room nine. Room eight with a hatchet in it. Room 11 looks like a bathroom. Getting the hallway around that. Room 12. Room six, room five. So you get the general just to that one. Flip it over again. 
Uh, I think we saw this, but I'll go this way again. I think we did. Yeah, I think so. 14, 15, 10, 16. Yeah, we saw this one, right? Okay, just look at it again real quick. 18, 17. Yep, 25, 24. We saw this already. So I gotta go the other direction, so hold on. Yep, we saw that already. And then the back end here. So this is the back end. This is room one. Outside patio. Room seven. Outside the koi pond. So let me see if I can open this thing up all the way. So again, this is a ginormous board. So when you pull it all the way out, I'm gonna try to show you from left to right. So it's a beautiful board, as you can tell. Really, really captures the element and feel for exploration. All right, so down here is the kids' fear tracker. Up top, as you can tell, all up top up here. That's the tracker for the boogeyman up top. So for this game here, you do need a rather large space for playing space. This is a pretty good sized table. Never really measured the table size of the table, but that is your board right there. So again, when you have a board this big, you always want to be careful because you don't want to rip it. So everything else kind of, you know, you just don't want to rip it. And it is a one-sided board. It's not two-sided. So there's this here. Try to get everything from the underneath on top of it. There you go. So you can try to see everything that's on there. All right. So you got the board out there now. try to show you as much of it again as I always try to do in the videos I try to show you as much as I possibly can you know but that's your board there so really really beautiful board okay so there you have it so there's the board so we got decks of cards too so we got several decks of cards as we discussed oh, when we're going through the rule book there are a whole heck of a lot of cards so yeah you can go back uh looking at my video series of unboxings um for more information about that tales of uh, that we mentioned before that's also can be considered part of this game system so we got some lightness we got some lights Got boogeyman cards. You got the babysitter cards. So let's take a look at these one at a time. So you got the babysitter cards. You got enraged. You've been bad. So based on your dice roll, she doesn't believe you. Minus one status, nothing happens. She believes you, plus one candy token. You've been bad. Jennifer grabbed you by your pajamas and dragged you away here. What are you still doing up? You, you invent an excuse. Creepy laugh. I'll take that. A disturbing tale. That's enough. Let's see how brave you are. Time out. Hot breath. Sent to bed with no dinner. Let's see if you've learned your lesson. Squeeze. What beautiful firm cheeks you have. Roll a die, and if you roll an odd number, move the babysitter to an adjacent room. Then draw a boogeyman card. If not, plus one candy token. Do not touch. 
Jennifer comes out of the shadows, terrifying you. Say goodbye to your toy. Derisive laughter. Oops. Jennifer destroys your glasses. You can't see anything anymore. Minus one status. Place a lock token in your room. Plus one can token. So if you roll one or two, you can't see anything anymore. Minus one. Roll a three, four, or five. Place a lock token in your room. Six, a candy token. Here's Jenny. I want your eyes. If looks could kill. Claws. Love bite. The main dish. The giantess. Lips of blood. Stay here. The demon. The nap. You are so cute. Where do you think you're going? The breakfast of champions. Romantic movie. Those are all the cards that are included for your babysitter cards. Then you have the boogeyman cards. The apparition. Hand of shadow. Again, you're rolling dice, and then down here it tells you what's going to happen. So one, two, three, minus one status. Four, five, nothing happens. Roll a six, plus one candy token. Hand of shadow. Face to face. The icy embrace. The push. Monster under the bed. Monster in the closet. Your soul. Hand in hand. Quicksand. Taken. The mirror. The sink. The ambush. The storm. The armchair. The trunk. The boogeyman tries to drag you into the trunk. Lose one status, lose an item. Draw a room token and place an objective token you have on the bottom of the pile in that room. Move to an adjacent room. Storage room. The shadow. Petrified. Come with me. Midnight snack. The Indian hut. Shadow puppets. The painting. Look up. The chilling scream. Carnivorous pizza. A friend. The Fright, The Dangerous Window, and The Cabinet of Terror. So those are all of your Boogeyman cards. And you got your Light cards. Foresight, Burned Out, Snack, Let's Rummage, The Babysitter, The Washing Machine, The Chinese Vase. The Vase is about to fall. One, two, it falls and breaks, draw a babysitter card. Three, four, it falls but does not break. Move the babysitter three rooms in your direction. Five or six, you manage to prevent it from falling. Just in time, you get plus one action this turn. Again, Tales of Yule. Tales of Yule, you are captivated by a game that seems to come from the future. It falls out of your hand, discard a search card. Nothing happens, at plus one status. The novel, babysitter's bag, the party. Jennifer's Boyfriend, Insects, It's Not My Fault, Detective Light, Searching in the Dark, Babysitter Tax, Draw a Babysitter Card, Babysitter Tax, Babysitter, get a, Draw a Babysitter Card, Boogeyman Attacks, Relax, All Quiet, The Faulty Switch, The Mocha, The Shower, Locked Lock, Damn, It's Stuck, Place a Lock Token in Your Room. So there are three of the cards that are included in this set. No, the deck of cards. Okay. There you go. Those are the light. These must be the darkness cards. That's more light cards. So let's, let's take a look at here. Again, we got relax. All is quiet. The closet. Pizza! When the pizza delivery man arrives, you realize that he forgot your pizza. The order was wrong. Discard a search card and draw another one. Everything is okay. Lower the boogeyman or babysitter token on the stress scale one space. The right. Stop. 
and the ex the good extraterrestrial. Oh, looks like ET. Some more of those ones for the light. Okay, so we have the dark. Let's go with darkness first. Let's go with darkness cards. Is it human? Is she a witch? The TV is broadcasting something. Dinner is ready. You like? The fridge. What? The bat. Voodoo. Who are you? The skeleton in the closet. The axe man. Visitors. The monkeys gone mad. The specter. Boogeyman attacks. Boogeyman attacks. Boogeyman attacks. The football. Kick the ball. If it hits the bulb, place a dark token in your room. It breaks a glass, your turn ends. Hits the wall, you get plus one action this turn. The puppet. Zombies. Piranha. Fire. The assassin doll. Relax. Dan locked lock. The cyborg. Jennifer is a robot from the future. Chomp. The, carnivia the carnivorous plant. The deer demonic. The bathtub. Bearskin and the killer armor. So that's your dark cards. And here we go. Polaroid. Smurf, add plus one to your die roll when you encounter the babysitter. Polaroid. All right. The turtle. Oliver. Coco Bill. The goldfish. Action figure. The toy allows you to make yourself feel like the strongest child in the entire universe. Add plus two to a die roll. Very good. Yell out. Boom box. Plunger. Gathering. Fruit juice. Really gives me a boost. Get plus one action. Walkie talkies. Sugar. Wrap two. Sneakers. Spare bulb. Dice. Phone. Snake bandana. Cola, cola, ragdoll, bunch of keys, paper clip, Walkman, lower the boogeyman or babysitter's token on the stress scale by one space, slinky, the toy gun, spare bulb, glow, it glows in the dark, the glow worm, how awesome, paper clip, bright ball, paper clips are important, you remove a lock token, very important, bright ball, cancel meeting with the boogeyman. Squawking Duck, Crowbar, Geode, Boogeyman Attacks, Boogeyman Attacks, it's Babysitter Attacks. Got to shuffle these good magnifying glass. Electrician's Equipment, so these are equipment cards, obviously. Lucky Charm, Dice, Jar of Chocolate, Teddy Bear, The Box, Better Get Away, Wrap 2, Gloves, Air Duct, and Remote Controlled Robot. So there you go. So that's some good things that can happen to you. Start putting these down here so you can see them all. Kind of went, they all kind of went off camera, so I apologize for that one. Put the light next to the dark over here. All right. And of course, we got one more deck of cards. bag here for putting some of your punch outs in all right so getting near the end i know we're about at a half an hour now so it is taking a while to get through this but at the same time looks like a really 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 fun game now again you guys know i have uh, while i'm opening this pack of cards here you guys know by now that i have a couple children and this is exactly the type of game they love to play so they go on an adventure you know they're being kids themselves. They love going on adventures. And uh, wow, we got all kinds of different cards here now. Oh, all right, so we got a couple more of these cards. So let's look at the weapon cards. Remote control car, Jerry the mouse, and the vacuum cleaner. So that goes up here. These might be the kit cards. Yeah, the cards for the individual kids. Okay. So let's take a look at these first. 
have to roll the same. So there's lots of cards in this game. All right. Insects. Spy. All right, so it's, we literally we are literally in Jennifer's hands. Each child must roll a die, and whoever rolls the lowest number loses a status. Repeat the effect of this card every time it's your turn. This card is a card when you are revived. So these, this, this is obviously a dream card. Okay. Spy. Walled Alive. Sleepwalker. Garden Gnomes. Werewolves. My Treasure. Saboteur. Sleep par Paralysis. Draw a trouble card. Repeat the effect of this card every time it's your turn. This card, this card when you are revived. Yeah, so when you fall asleep. Premature aging. All right, so that's sleeping cards. All right, so we have some numbered cards here. So it's Friday the 13th. Invasion of bed bugs. All children in rooms one, two, seven, and eight are attacked by bed bugs and lose a candy token. Those who do not have a candy token lose a status instead. Ghost in the cellar. Mess in the kitchen. Nightmares and delusions. Unwanted guest. Hens on the run. Earthquake. Lost. Here you are. The child in the room with the lowest number must draw a boogeyman card. And light down. Flip all light tokens in all even number rooms to dark. Oof. All right. So it's unlucky 13 cards. Let's see what else we got here. So this here. All right, got some ones that look like uh, on the front here. It looks like it's got uh, an envelope. The researcher, you, if you have at least 10 search tokens at the start of the finale, you can recover stats before tackling the finale. Otherwise, you lose all your candy tokens. Investigator, the collector, the immortal, the glutton, the good guy, the brave, the hero, the cleaner, the possessed. You are the traitor and you only win if all the other children lose. Your task is to lead the boogeyman and yourself to victory. Don't get caught. But do everything you can to make the other children fail miserably. Mwah! All right, that's these that card there. Now we got plenty more cards coming up here. Okay, this looks like a house. And you'll know when to pull each of these cards. When you go through the rule book, it'll explain what each of these cards are for and the rationale behind them. All right, says so the alien who is there, fusion system. During this round, everyone playing the children must cover their head with a hat, scarf, or whatever they can find to prevent the alien from reading their minds. Anyone who fails to do so or who drops their headgear during this round immediately loses a status. The flooding. Oh, this is fusion system cards. Okay. So the alien, the flooding, the heater went crazy, blackout, the impossible cold, the electromagnetic storm, the jugglers, the broken glasses, salt, hot chocolate. Jennifer gave all the children a bitter hot chocolate drink, fusion system. Everyone playing the children will have to drink or eat something that contains sugar, such as fruit juice or candy. Anyone who doesn't immediately loses all of their search cards. Huh. All right. Eighties last night looks like an old computer. So, top secret says the experiment. You need to craft a potion so you can face the boogeyman in a final fight. And to do that, you need to find the two mission tokens and take them to room twenty before you can start the finale. Secret layer, the egg thief, escape the freedom, general cleaning, car of the future, do it yourself. Lights on. The boogeyman operates in the shadows, and only light can destroy him. You need to collect 15 light slash dark tokens and find the two mission tokens before you can start the finale. So this looks like mission cards. Top secret mission cards. Okay. These are the cards for Jennifer Parker.
four of those cards. So obviously starts where she starts off being the strongest right here. I assume that's the starting point. Four, three, two, one. So I'm gonna say, yeah. Four, one is when she's the strongest. Drops to two, when she's more stressed. Three, so as you can tell. So it starts off with four, two, four. Here it drops to four, two, three. Three, two, three, two, two, two. So, so these are stress cards. All right, that's for Jennifer. Got some more Jennifer cards here, it appears. Clause. When any investigator faces a turn, turn off, or... I think these cards might be used for Tales of Evil. Again, for, uh, they're saying that you could use these, so these cards might be for that. And I think they are. Not sure, 100%, but I think they are. And you got Jennifer Claws. Jennifer, my nail broke. Jennifer, I don't know anything about it. Again, all these cards will be explained to you as you read the instruction book. So flip these over. The Vampire Book, the Tarantula, the Creepy Twins, the Possessed, the Guardian, the Demonic TV, the Skull. A skull starts blabbling nonsense phrases. It rolls five dice for each star result. You lose one. The VCR, the Deer, the Demonic Pumpkin, Jennifer's Purse, the Mysterious Shield. Yeah, I think this is used for Tales from Evil. I recognize his cards from that game. So yeah, these are all different cards for that. Let's continue going with this. Yeah, I, oh. Here's a couple more mission cards for you. Uh, make Jennifer angry. You need to find the two mission tokens and get the babysitter stress token to the front door before you can start the finale. Face to face, you need to find the two mission tokens and get the boogeyman stress token to the front door before you can start the finale. Put that again. Let's go more of those. Mission cards. Ah. Each of these cards are now for your main characters. Okay, so again, when he's calm, get scared and terrified. So, what's a candy? You may discard a candy to give a plus one to a teammate's roll of the dice. You may discard a candy to give a plus one to a teammate's roll of the dice. Terrified, you can't do anything. Calm. When a child passes out, you may take four actions per turn instead of three, as long as that child is unconscious. Scared. When a child passes out, you may take four actions per turn instead of three, as long as that child is unconscious. Terrified, you lose all of those abilities. Calm, you may discard a candy to search without spending an action. Again, you may discard a candy to search without spending an action. When she's terrified, she can't do anything. He's calm. You may discard a candy to cancel the noise produced when you search. Gets a little scared, you may discard a candy to cancel the noise when you search. And then terrified. Calm, you may discard a candy to move to an adjacent room without spending an action. Same thing here, except the it looks like the cost goes up. Now three times two times one. And the last child. When you draw a search card, you may discard a candy to discard that card and draw another one. Scared and then terrified. Those are your kids' cards. All right. Now, we also have a glow-in-the-dark die, which is always fun, which is a unique die to the game. You got a hand, five fingers, four, two. Not sure what that is. Sure, if that's an alien or a bug. Not sure what that is exactly. We got five, four. Looks like the boogeyman's face. Two. Looks like a one or six. Yeah, so it's either one or six when rolling it. Okay, that's your die. 
little baggie for that. You have the standees. I'm, I, I'm not going to get them now to punch them out. There's too much stuff on top of it, but that's the basis for them. You got enough bases for one for all the kids, the babysitter, and the boogeyman. And last but not least, you've got the figures. Not sure if you buy this in the store, if the figures would be included or just the standees would be included. I'm not sure. But again, it's the Kickstarter version, so I put the extra bucks in and got the figures. Another one of figures. Really good detail. Really cool figures overall. Very happy with the purchase. Another one. figure really good looking figures I must say The babysitter. Put in hot, put in hot water. It'll bend back up the right way. It looks a little, it looks a little slanted to me. And I'm not happy about that, but there you go. There's the babysitter. Bring her back up here again so you can see her again. So you got the six kids, the babysitter, and. The boogeyman. Boogeyman is not a happy camper right there. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's everything that's included. I know it took a little longer than I was hoping to, but it's a 42 minute, uh, going on 43 minute video. But that is everything that is included in the Kickstarter version of. Boogeyman, the board game, the terrifying survival horror game, brought to you by Antonio Ferrara and Scape Studios. Again, thank you so much for joining me on this unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you could always give us a like. You could always give us a thumb, uh, give us a like, or you can also you can leave a comment below. Uh, you could also subscribe to the page. This way you're kept up to date for any other unboxing videos that we may do in the future. Of course, as always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well. Enjoy the remainder of the day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.